Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Potion Creating. Oof. Uh, I look really tired doing that right now. That's because I was up at 3 a.m. last night. And hopefully this coffee wakes me up. That way I can get to making more gameplays for you all. And so we can complete the games. Go back to our another series called The Broken Gym. Where we take the... Eat the Beats and games, logos, put them on the gym, fix the gym up that got broken by who knows what. So I guess we'll know at the end of that series. Um, Sheesh, it's a lot. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by again. Today, we're going to be making some London. Thing. I had a good name for it. Oh, the Carmel London Bridge. <clears throat> That's what I'll call it. The Carmel London Bridge. Why? Because we got some Starbucks today. We're going to be using some Frappuccino Starbucks. Let's give this a shake. Pretty sure we got to shake this stomach. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, it's no shake. Well, it doesn't say we gotta shake, but I'm gonna shake. I feel like you do have to shake these. Or maybe not. Dang. Maybe I shouldn't shake. Anyways, it's probably gonna explode, ain't it? I hope not. This is the Caramel Frappuccino. I don't need to try this. Honestly, there's a time, like when I first started liking coffee, these Starbucks glass coffee uh, cups here, these were my favorite go-to. Mocha, caramel. I think they have a vanilla one too. And I guess I have this regular coffee one which we're gonna be using today. I didn't even know they had a regular coffee one. That's that one's new to me. So let's go ahead and add this caramel. And add it all. Kinda add it all. <coughs> Oh yeah, make sure we got a shaker in that one. Let's deal with this. I feel like I see the word shake well, and then I go look at the same spot I seen it at, and it's not even there. <laughs> this doesn't say shake well. But this is Rise Brewing Company, London Fog. Nitro oat milk, early gray tea. Oof, that's interesting. Of course, gotta try this one. Yeah, these nitro ones are crazy. Dang, they didn't fill to the top. You can look inside there and it's like, it's filled up through there. Maybe that's where the nitro was filled in. That's crazy what feel, it feels like the can's bubbling, like it's gonna explode still. Let's give this a taste test. Wish me luck, people. London Fog. That's a funny name for a drink, ain't it? Look, who wants to drink fog? Well, I do. Holy crud. It's way too strong on the tea taste. It needs more sweetening. Oof. In fact, Good thing I didn't pour all the caramel. I can't add all that. That's way too strong of a tea that's gonna ruin the coffee. So what I did is, I poured about at least that much left in there now. Now, what I can do, don't worry, we're gonna pour that much left in there, but I'm gonna see how it tastes so like as an example because I don't want to ruin the good Starbucks coffee. So here's like Starbucks regular coffee. Just a regular coffee. Best served chilled. What I usually do is after these making these coffee videos, especially if it's best served chilled uh, drinks I'm using, I throw it in the freezer for probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes at most and then 
I just felt down on the bed. Alright, now we got that. Let me see, we got some leftover. Let me get a coffee. Now, basically, this, this is like a test run. But, this only has a little bit of a Starbucks. This has a lot of the Starbucks in this cup over here. But this has a lot of this. So basically we're looking at that much of the nitro coffee, that much of the regular coffee, that much of the caramel coffee. Get okay? and it, measurements really does matter when drink mixing with any kind of drinks, juice, coffee, soda, energy drinks. If you got different measurements, it'll taste differently. So let's see how this tastes. This will tell us if this will be good or not, honestly. Let me give it a shake. I'm a little bit concerned. I do love these bottles though. The Christmas Best of Starbucks bottles, they look really nice. The red and the green one. In fact, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these. Wait, oh, they should have made the other tap green for the regular coffee one. See, it has a green label. This one, oh, this one I guess needs a brown tap for the caramel. Anyways, let's give this a taste test. Ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done, dun 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 I did it again. I was worried that we'd fail, but I counted my outs up up too soon. Made myself look like a buffoon. Ding, coffee's done, ding, coffee's done, ding, coffee's done. It goes good with these, it really does. It's like it makes the tea such a light flavored. And you can taste some milk in here, the oat milk. It's a win. Oh, there's an aftertaste, so dang, I spoke too soon once again. Well, it happens. There's like a little bit of a strong tea aftertaste, but it's not too strong still. It's just a strong one. But honestly, if anything, it's good for me because I need to get more used to tea and water flavor. <clears throat> the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to be able to drink things that are basically tea and water but I gotta make but if, if I like it I'll be able to drink a lot more at ease like those new tea the super tea we made recently last month those teas were really good those were my favorite teas still is this this is like this is this is on the fence right here like it could be my if they just sweeten it up a bit it would be right there with those tall cans I bought that's uh, bubble tea, bubble tea or whatever you call it. But, but since it's not sweet enough, it's right on the fence because it's like drinkable. And I think that's because of super tea drinks we made. Or the drinks that made the super tea drink. Since I've been drinking those, I got more used to tea flavored. That's good though because tea and water, you know, that's good to have every once in a while especially if it if for a substitute for soda energy drinks coffee tea and water is a good uh, substitute but the thing is you gotta get used to a flavor and for people like me and understand I understand people that out there that like been drinking soda since you know you could drink out of a bottle, bottle from as a baby a uh, baby bottle you know you've been drinking soda probably like me and because of that, you don't like water or tea as much. That's understandable. But don't forget. Don't give up. You know, don't give up hope. That's all you have to do. Like I did. I didn't give up hope. And here I am. Now I'm like halfway there. I'm almost able to stand the, the taste of tea. I swear to you all. It's crazy because at first tea tastes like spinach to me. I can't eat spinach. I, ugh, it's horrible to me even thinking about it and tea was the same way but now it's not anymore now it's almost there with the at least it tastes the same as water you know water's flavorless tea is a bad flavor let's be honest unless if it's very sweet but how does that help it helps you get used to it that's how there's our London, or Carmel, London Bridge, right? Yeah. Carmel, London Bridge. 
I basically just named it after the drinks we mixed it with. We got caramel Starbucks here. Then we got a uh, London Fog Nitro Rice Brewing Company here. Then after that we got a regular coffee Starbucks. Caramel London Bridge. They're probably like, what? <laughs> what does the coffee have to... Well, how does that mean bridge? I don't know. I'm pretty sure in some weird way out there it works, but <laughs> I don't know right now. I can't tell you the full example for that. But yeah, for some reason. And the reason why I want to call it London Bridge is because um, you got that song, London Bridge is falling down. Well, you don't have to worry about that with this drink. This drink is going to keep you up and around as much as you need to be. And with the nice tea little tea flavor it's not really coffee flavored it's more on the tea and milk side it's weird right that there's more coffee stuff in this drink like this a little bit of can and I told you it wasn't even filled to the top but still that oat milk it just down it just changed our whole flavor I'd write this drink Seven point five, no, eight, eight out of ten. It's weird. I shut my eyes and I started seeing an eight forming in my eyes. So it has to be eight out of ten, because honestly, that's the over thing. I was like, nah, seven point five. That's a new flavor right there. Since it's a new flavor, it gets high points. Since it's a good flavor, it gets high points. It's energizing, gets high points. A eight out eight point five out of 10 is what I meant to say that's what I meant to say because when I saw the 8 forming in my head it formed with 5 dots so that has to be 8.5 tell me hey make sure you get your ratings right <laughs> anyways hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode of potion creating here we got the caramel London bridge and I love this new drink right here it's awesome I love the fact that I can drink tea a lot more than I used to, you know. I guess I have you all the thanks to that, this series of thanks for that, and the Be Alive the thanks for that, right? Peace out, stay awesome, and yeah, later. I made it to the end, I guess I could all only say really is victory whip. Oh. I like that, not to do it all the time, but wouldn't be healthy to do it all the time. I had some whip on my mustache. But yeah, say victory whip at the end of your videos and just whip crib yourself like that. <laughs> there you go. Remember though, very sugary, not good for the body. You can't do it all the time for every video. So maybe once every four or five months if you want to try it out. Try it out. It's fun. Victory whip and then whip yourself like that, like you just saw me do. That's fun to do, I swear, I promise you. It's really funny and fun to do.